Good day. How are you today? Welcome to English for Academic and Professional Purposes class. I am teacher Leslie Kalingnim from the Guven City National High School. I am glad to be with you in this new episode as you discover new knowledge and a new lesson through our Facebook Live. Before we start our lesson, may I remind everyone that make sure you are in a comfortable place you have your pen with you, notebook, and your modules. Today's episode, you will learn about writing a review, the purpose in writing a review, and the different types of review. Before we move forward to our new topic, last episode, you have learned about writing a reaction paper. Again, what is reaction paper? Very good! Another question is, why do we write a reaction paper? Good job! Reaction paper is a written assignment that provides a personal opinion about the movie, experience, and a piece of work. And now, we will move on to our new topic, which is writing a review. Now, I want to ask you, what can you say about the picture? Does this look like familiar to you? Where have you seen this? Yes, that is correct. This picture is an example of a feedback or the comment section of a company. And our topic for today is about writing a review paper. What is review? Review is an evaluation of a service, company, and of publication, such as film review, music review, book review, and performance review. When we say evaluation, it is the making of judgment on something. Remember that you should include your honest and fair comment or judgment about something. Why do we need to write a review? The first purpose in writing a review is it influence customer's decision. Second, strengthen company's credibility. Third, gain customer's trust. And fourth, it gives feedback that will help a company, service, and publication to improve. These are the purposes in writing a review. The first type of review is company review. Company review is an evaluation and description of the customer's experience with the company. Best example, Shopee and Lazada. Yes, today people are into online shopping and we are all familiar with this too. I have a question. Have you purchased a product from Shopee and Lazada? How about from online sellers in Facebook? Now, what is the first thing that you need to consider before buying a product? Yes, you need to check on the reviews, the comment section. Just like the purpose number one, it influences consumers' decision. Good comment, excellent feedbacks, then we have the reason to trust the shop, the seller, and the product. And that is the use of the company review. You should remember that in writing a company review, you should be able to give your honest and fair judgment about a service, product, company, or anything that you used. It is your goal to give the target customer, the other customers, to give an idea on what to expect about the product. Second type of review is service review. Review of an organization's services designed to identify potential service delivery improvements. From the word itself, we give feedback to a specific service. And the third type of review is review of a publication. Review paper or critical evaluation of material that has already been published, such as book, film, and music review. 
The first example for the review of publication is film review. Film review is an evaluation or popular way for critics to assess a film's overall quality and determine whether or not they think the film is worth recommending. Now, we have a format in writing a film review. Number one, introduction. This section provides the basic information of the film, such as the film's name, major actor, director, year, and screenwriter. This information can be found on the movie poster. Second part of a film review is a plot summary. Plot summary contains the most exciting part of a film. We should put and include it in our paper. But remember, you should avoid writing specific details that would spoil the movie. We should give them and leave them with a big question and that will make them interested in the movie. Next is description. This section provides writer's personal judgment. When we say judgment, it's okay to be a bad judgment or a positive one. The most important thing that you need to remember in writing this film review is that you need to be honest. You describe your own feelings, your own opinion, and you describe how was your experience in watching the film. You should be honest all the time. The fourth part in writing a film review is analysis. Analysis is a form of expository writing in which separates a subject into its element or part. Two forms of analysis, formal technique and thematic content. Formal technique pertains to the technicality of a movie, the cinematography, sound effects, lighting, and the editing. While the thematic content, it focuses on the background, the class, the gender, and the environment of the movie. Part of a film review is we are giving our feedback our judgment about the technicality and about the content of a movie because not all movies are suitable to all types of audiences and that is the importance of analysis the last part of a film review is the conclusion slash evaluation conclusion slash evaluation is the closing statement of a film review you should sum up everything your opinion your thoughts your feelings about the movie you should answer the question, is it worth it or not? Give your best shot. You should remember that in writing a film review, honesty is very important. This will serve as a guide for the people who want to watch a movie that they want to check first on the reviews. And that will be our lesson for today's episode. And for your task, check on page 12 watch this movie and i want you to write a film review and write it in all honesty thank you so much students for listening and i hope that you learn a lot for this topic keep safe everyone and see you on our next class